Okay, so I don't know where I left off when I was updating you guys earlier, but things went wrong. Um, one didn't end up going the way we wanted them to. I was laboring. I got to eight centimeters and a half, kind of nine, without the epidural. But I ended up getting it because I felt like I was wasting so much energy. And then when it came time to push, I was not going to have it. So I went ahead and got it. And then... And then, um... When we were at 9 centimeters, she was like, oh, like, it was 2... It was like 2 o'clock roughly. Um, and then she was like, oh, she'll be here like in 20, 40 minutes. And then, um, they checked me again and then nothing had changed. Like I was exactly the same and the baby was kind of showing like, not like that she was going back, but that her position had changed. So the doctor and the midwife and the nurses were trying to find ways to um like help and long story short um we ended up going to the OR to get an emergency c-section because her heart rate went down and they had to put oxygen on me and she was showing a lot of signs of stress and that it's not good for baby so I ended up getting an emergency C-section. So that's why you guys didn't see all of this because it all happened in a blink of an eye. But it really wasn't, it, you, that makes any sense. So she was born at 5.43 p.m. February 12th. She weighs, or she like she weighed when they like weighed her, seven pounds, 11 ounces and 19 inches long. And she's beautiful. She latched on right away. She was just amazing. And this is my hair with my braids out. Um, I took them out today. And I put on my PJ set that I showed you guys in What's in My Hospital Bag. If you guys haven't seen that video... Definitely go watch it um, if you're a first-time mom, second-time mom, or you're getting ready to go to the hospital um, to deliver, so definitely watch it. I'll leave it I'll, I will leave it linked down below. And this is my baby. She's so beautiful. This is Chloe Alexia. And she's so beautiful. And I am the happiest person. I haven't slept since we came. I've taken cat naps, but I just can't sleep. You know what I mean? Like, I can't sleep. Because, like, I'm just so uncomfortable. It was a very traumatic, scary, very scary, because I was crying the whole, whole time, <clears throat> and it hurts to cough. Um, I am on pain medicine, but it's not like pain where I'm not going to feel anything. It's, to me, it just like, it just kind of numbs it a little. But I can still feel it in a way. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the one that I'm getting the pain medicine. Like that. They already took her a shower. They moved us to the postpartum at 8.30 p.m. And yesterday, I hadn't ate anything on the 11th. I ate, the last time I ate was at 5.00. Um, roughly 5.30 and I hadn't ate anything and then when we got checked in the hospital and all that was on a liquid diet I could not eat anything like I could only drink and stuff 
and then I didn't eat or drink anything till this morning, which is the 13th. So it's been like two days that I haven't ate. And I was so hungry this morning. And I kind of snacked a little bit uh, more than I should have. So I can kind of feel like a little pain in my stomach. But yeah, we're, I'm sorry guys. My eyes, they're tired. And I'm tired. And Brian is tired. Brian was so helpful, guys. Honestly, I think I would not have been able to have done this experience if it wouldn't have been for him. Very helpful. And, um, Miss Chloe here gave us a run for our money and she came when she wanted to and she came in the way she wanted to into this world I can't get up so I haven't been able to like use the bathroom I have a catheter um I haven't done the bowel movement yet and I'm nervous for that but not only that I am extremely swollen from my feet and my face. I don't know if you guys can tell. And my fingers. Like, my hands are swollen. My face is swollen. My eyes are puffy from all the crying. But I am very swollen. And Miss Chloe is also very swollen, too. Right, Mommy? Look at her eyes. She's so swollen. Um, because of the Pitocin and then going like to nine centimeters and the reason why I don't know if I told you guys this earlier or not but the reason why we had to get an emergency c-section was because her umbilical cord was wrapped around her neck and her entire body because she broke her own water like you guys saw so they're thinking that she did so much different movements throughout my laboring process that somehow she got tangled within the umbilical cord and that is what caused us to get an emergency c-section it's not the best i honestly and truly commend and admire women who get c-sections but honestly it's the worst pain in the world like the recovery part at least for me, it was very traumatic, very scary. So I think that also adds to I never want a C-section again. So we decided we're not having any more kids after Chloe. So, yeah. And she's breastfeeding just fine. She's eating fine. She's very healthy. She's doing really good. Um, they already gave her her first bath. That is why she's wearing clothes. Um... And after they gave her her first bath, they she the nurse that I had in the morning helped me change into my PJs. I am currently in, like, the mesh panties because I have the catheter and I have to use the big pads because of the catheter and because they're pressing on my uterus every four hours to make sure that I don't have a hemorrhage. I think that's what that's what the nurse said. Um, but yeah, I have a new nurse now because they already switched or whatever. So yeah, and it's eleven thirty-eight a.m. I thought it was later, but it's really early. It's early. Thought it was my noche. I don't know what it is. I know, right? Hey, we took like. Was like three? No, it was five in the morning. It was four. When I woke up, it was four. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, four. Do you want to tell them anything? My name is Kier. Um, sorry. I was scared. I was scared. I'm really scared. It's crazy. I saw what was in the news, so. It did. Yeah. 
They said that you got mad when you were waiting outside. Yeah, but they told me it's in minutes and then they And she took longer. So yeah guys, um the nurse just came in. They're gonna come take my catheter out in like twenty minutes. Um but like I said, she's breastfeeding fine. She's doing fine. And I'm just okay. thankful. It's not what I wanted. I didn't want a C-section. But I'm very happy that she's here. She's okay. She's healthy. And like I said, when I was doing my updates and my um, hospital bag, you know, it's not what I wanted. And it's not the ideal plan. The plan was to come and get a vaginal delivery. But whatever brings baby safe and sound is what I have to do as a mom. And what's best for the baby is what's going to be best for me at the end of the day. So I'm just happy that she's okay and that she's all right. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to vlog any of that. But like I said, things were just happening so fast. But at the same time, in a long period of hours, but for us, it seemed so fast. Like, it felt like it was a second, but in reality, it was from two to five to make the decision of having a C-section, one emergency C-section. It's pretty scary if you think about it. Hi, guys. Well, um, we're still at the hospital, um, and I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup so I don't feel so dead. Besides, today is Valentine's Day, and I think we're going to be staying another night, um, because I'm not feeling... When I get up and walk, it hurts a lot. Not the incision in itself. It's more of... Of like where they had Hello Okay Um that was Chloe's appointment So we had to schedule her for Her appointment after you leave the hospital You have to have a pediatrician and I'm just going to take her to where Brancito goes, um, where he's been going since he was born. Anyways, um, so they were just calling to confirm the appointment. Um, so yeah, I'm doing my makeup because I want to feel a little bit alive. Because, like I was telling you guys, when I walk, I it doesn't, the incision in itself doesn't hurt. What hurts is where they had the, the thing where it was collecting, if it was like, what does she call it? Uh, like where it was taking out the blood or like if it was infected. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember at this exact moment. So um, that's what hurts because they took it out yesterday because I couldn't. The pain was just horrible. Um, and so that's what they were doing yesterday. They took it out. I didn't keep vlogging yesterday. Because I, I ended up getting visitors, like my friends and stuff. And I didn't feel like vlogging while they were here. Because I wanted to enjoy the moment. And, like, they were asking questions. Because I went into an emergency C-section. And we were just talking about it. And then my uncle came and his wife and his kids. Um, so, we, were ju uh, we just had a, a busy night. Um, and I'm just going to do my eyebrows and I put on a little bit of foundation because I want to feel alive in one color. So Brancito is right here and I'm breastfeeding. Brian? Yeah, the baby, but I'm breastfeeding so they... Do you love her? No. No. So my milk hasn't fully come in, but I feel like it's starting to. 
This is the postpartum room. I haven't shown you guys, but that's the door to go in. And that's the closet that the nurses use and the sink and stuff. Um, and then it's like a little hallway and the curtain. And then when you come in, this is the first thing you see. And then you have Brian, Brian where he sleeps and then where I sleep. Rancito's over there taking a nap, and then Chloe's over there taking a nap too, so they're both napping. I was napping too, but I had to get up and use the restroom, so that is my bed, and then Brian's watching something on Netflix, and the computer the nurse uses, and then the bathroom of the postpartum, so yeah, just like a regular old bathroom, hospital bathroom. And then there's Miss Chloe snapping away. Um, the reason why we have this in here is because we're awake and she was really cold but the room has to be a little bit cold for me because I get hot and since I'm on a little bit of medications for the pain I need it to be a little bit colder than normal. So, we just have this right now since we're both awake. Um, you know, we're watching her. But, that's why it's there. Oh, she's crying. Here's the table where I eat. The phone and stuff. We don't really use that area. Except Brian's storing his food down there. Like, that he's been eating and stuff. From home. So that we didn't have to waste so much money. He has gone to the cafeteria to get stuff. But, you know, the basic snacks and stuff. Brancito snapping. There's his diaper bag. And he's been really good. Like, a really good big brother. So, and then my socks, I had to take them off. And, put, and they had to put some compression socks on me. They were extremely sore. I mean, swollen. And then I'm wearing. So, how do you feel? Ready to go home? Yeah. How do you feel now having both of them here? I don't know. It was good. Brace, it does been really good, huh? Yeah, he is. He's going to be a good big brother. <laughs> so I'm going to end this part of the vlog. And tomorrow we get to go home. So today's Valentine's Day. So we get to be here on Valentine's Day. Um, and tomorrow we get to go home. I get to take a shower, so I'm going to take a shower tonight so that I'm fresh so I can sleep more comfortable. Um, so, we get to go home tomorrow, and we get to be at home, and our life starts officially tomorrow with two kids, because right now it's a little surreal, it's, we have help, and when we go home tomorrow, we, we will, but not as much as when we get home, you know what I mean? Um... But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take another nap since close. Oh, never mind. Bye. Hi, so I told you guys I was not gonna vlog anymore, but I wanted to update you guys that I don't know if I told you guys this earlier, but the doctor did say I'm allowed to take a shower already. Um, so I'm gonna do that tonight. It's barely, I think like 6 20. And it is 7 02 actually. And I'm going to take a shower right now, like, at 8. Um, because we have one more round of, uh, that the, like, the nurse is about to come, like, at 7-something. So when she comes, checks me, make sure everything's okay. Then I'm going to tell her I'm going to take a shower so that she can bring me, um, gauze for the, where I had, not the incision, but for where I had the drainage. Um, the CPU, I think that's what they call it. I don't really know, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, so then I can take a shower and then get ready for bed and then get ready for getting to go home tomorrow.